Aho! Hey, my beautiful Leos. This is your reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising in Venus for December 1st to the 15th. I am Rena Wells, your spiritual catalyst. If you're new here, please hit that like and subscribe button because I'm sure something is here that you're attracted to because I totally play in Law of Vibration and Attraction. So make sure you take a look around. And if you're returning, you know, I always hold a special place in my heart for my Soul Tribe family so we can continue expanding as one consciousness on the planet. Um, okay, guys, this is the Gypsy Spread. I know. I said that I wasn't going to do any more um, sun, moon, and rising readings, but Spirit really brought this through and said that, um, yeah, we are. So <laughs> um, for this month, anyways, I mean, I got to put my way intuition. So um, yeah, let's take a look here. The sun, moon, and rising, and Venus for Leo. So we've got four signs going out tonight, guys. Make sure that you take a look at all the other zodiac signs to make up your chart so that you're not missing out because these are general. If you do want to work with me, take a look at all the links down below. If you do want to, if you are looking at coaching, okay, I do give a free coaching session, but be warned, okay, that if I don't feel in the application process that we are not going to work well together, um, I will not accept the free session, okay, because this is. Um, I know if you're ready. All right. I know if you're ready. Um, I will take you into a deep, into your darkness. Okay. I'm, I've, I'm completely healed in my life. I've healed all my traumas. I'm just now in a mass place of massive integration right now. So, yeah. So, that being said, if you want a reading or anything else, take a look at my website. You can find out more about me. All right, guys. Let's see. We're almost ready here. This gypsy spread was given to me. Whew. When I was eight years old, you won't find it anywhere else on YouTube. If you do, they're copying it for me. <laughs> but what is going on? Something and rising here, please, for Leo for December 1st to the 15th. Spirit, please bring through the container down. Thank you. Okay. We are taking only uprights right now. Okay. Overall energy. Oh, Leo. Having a hard go at it. Okay, so we've got some pain, anxiety, okay, things that are being hidden right now, secrets, trying to use your intuition through this process. Okay, but what else is going on is we've got Queen of uh, Pentacles energy, so trying to be grounded, nurturing, feeling very wounded, battled, right? You've been battling it out, Leo, battling it out. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the Divine Connection. This is between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. What is going on between you and the person that you're thinking of, Spirit? Thank you. What is going on for Leo? Sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. Oh, masculine just fell out. So I feel like that falling out is like the masculines are the ones that are in pain, trying to use their intuitions, uh, intuition, um, hiding things, um, feeling, um, trying to use feminine energy to ground and heal and being very wounded in this situation. Okay. Spirit says that's good. Let's see. okay so this is an interconnection spread we read it from the inside out okay we take the cards in always how spirit tells it to me it's just exactly how we do our inner work everything happens from the inside out everything guys everything okay okay so this is what we have here. So we do have Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine in complete separation. If you can see, Divine Masculine is in the middle of this reading, okay? So this is all about Divine Masculine and what's going on with him, okay? Underneath, we have the moon. So there are a lot of things that are hidden right now, okay? Sorry, it's coming apart. So things that are hidden from the Divine Feminine um, that he's juggling right now and that he wants a passionately action in his life um, and move towards, um, some type of action towards a union with the divine feminine, but not entire, not ready yet, not ready yet. Okay. Cause there's still a lot of healing that's happening here. I knew that was divine masculine that was happening. That's why the ma divine masculine fell out. So yeah, divine masculine is hiding a lot of stuff. Okay. From divine feminine, divine feminine knows this. She's also juggling a lot of things right now, and she's passionately wanting to action certain things in her life. That's going to move her towards a solid foundation in her life. Okay. Um, and maybe, and also towards union, especially if you're in a twin flame connection, you're manifesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. Spirit is saying like, 
you're not manifesting for a union that you're waiting, you're putting your life on hold, but you do know that the more that you go into your calling and getting in alignment, divine feminine is actioning those things to get her into alignment for union, inner union with spirit. Okay. So let's clarify here. Let's see what secrets are the divine masculine holding right now, because that's exactly what's happening with the moon. He's hiding his love and a relationship. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of stuff that came out. So first thing that came out, hiding this divine love. I feel this is divine feminine, hiding divine feminine love, okay? Hiding this, this two of cups, trying to gain a lot of balance, temperance here, okay? Could also be um, a reconciliation, but really trying to balance and be kind and compassionate towards all parties that are involved in this and making some decisions about this, this hidden, um, <laughs> because all of this is hidden with the moon, okay? Um, so if there are in a third party, you, divine company, you know, they're in a third party, right? Um, everybody knows that they're in a relationship, but what's hidden right now is this two of cups, their love for the divine feminine, the reconciliation that they want divine feminine, the balance, the compassion, the beautiful temperate energy, you know, that's peaceful. It's peace that they want. And they know that they need to make a decision in regards to this darkness that's happening. So how is divine masculine in regards to divine feminine? How is divine masculine towards divine feminine right now? Conflicted, fighting, okay? Fighting um, internal battles about hiding this. It's hurting them. Fighting with their current manifestation of what they're dealing with, their physical manifestation of wishes fulfillment. This is ego. I always see the nine of cups as ego. I don't know why people say, oh, it's great. It's one of the happiest cards. Well, maybe if you just read tarot, but intuitively, if you're on a divine path, if you're on a twin flame journey, um, don't cut it. Sorry. Nine of cups. Don't cut it for highly evolved souls. Um, been there, done that, had my house, had my house, you know, um, I still have my house, have my house, have my car, have my, whatever doing all that shit. It's like, uh, no, where's my 10th cup? Where is the damn 10th cup? And so this is what divine masculines are fighting with because with the divine feminine, because they have this stability, but they know that this cup is missing, right? That's what they're hiding. That's why they're hiding this cup. So how does Divine Feminine feel towards Divine Masculine? No, well, she's in her feelings, okay? She's in her feelings towards Divine Masculine. She's going to action moving forward away from this bur from the burden. She's absolutely done moving away from Divine Masculine, okay? Could be moving towards somebody else. We have King of Wands here. Could be having another offer from somebody else, but moving towards something better. Okay, or moving away also from something that's very burdened and actioning the masculine energy in herself. To, uh, her emotions, balance in her emotions and her action, physically actioning her feelings and moving forward because it's too much of a burden. It's like, what? That's gross. I don't want to deal with that. So that's really what Divine Feminine is feeling towards Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine wants to have this Knight of um, Wands, though. Um, connection with divine feminine let's clarify that what do they want to quickly action towards divine feminine well, they're closed off well they want to come forward and offer they want to passionately come forward and offer something like this cup of love here okay but they're closed off to it they're closed off to it they're they're not ready yet okay because there's a third party could be third party situation and a lot of heartbreak and they're not ready for it and they're really focusing and working hard at how to I feel open, this heart center. What are they working hard at? What are divine masculines working hard at? Yeah. <laughs> How to plan. They're planning ahead. So they're trying to look into the future and make and do the work and focus on that. Okay. Divine feminine has also the knight of pentacles here. How is divine feminine actioning? How is divine feminine with the knight of wands actioning? Thank you. Yeah, she's going to passionately action her Ten of Pentacles here, her stability, her family, and moving forward and um, ending things with Divine Masculine here with the, with the, she's gained a lot of clarity and something's been communicated and things have ended and, and the tower has come down and she's had an awakening about what's really happening with um, this Divine Masculine, very mental energy here, right? Ending the mental energy, saying, I'm not playing in that mental stuff. I'm definitely moving forward, okay? We do have union here. I'm going to just move the cards around. We do have union here. Um, what is hidden in with the moon? And it's hidden union. <laughs> this mask is hiding all kinds of shit. Okay, so let's take a look. What is this um, a moon here with the four of wands for the masculine energy? Well, the truth is here. 
he knows the truth and he wants to apologize. Okay. Wants to come forward with an apology. So I feel like this masculine's waiting. I don't feel like, because we have the three of wands here, just kind of looking over at the horizon and being like, Oh, my beautiful love is over there, but not really doing anything about this right now. Um, and we have here, you know, union, but it's not quite ready. Um, wanting to come forward with the truth and, and they're hiding the truth because I clarified the moon. So they're hiding the truth and knowing that they have to apologize about this. Okay. So divine feminine is juggling this as well. Okay. And let, but so is divine masculine. So let's see divine masculine is juggling two of pentacles. They're juggling their own happiness because they're conflicted. They've become illuminated about this relationship, about this connection. And they realize that they're in deep conflict about it and they're trying to balance it and juggle it. Okay. And the divine feminine is also juggling things. What is she, what is she doing her spirit? Yeah. She's slowly moving away from, from the divine masculine. Okay. We also have the queen of cups that are here. That was here too for divine feminine. I just move things around. But we have the queen of cups here. Yeah. See, that's a pair, which is for divine feminine. She knows this is her counterpart, right? But she's slowly moving away because she's like, I'm juggling this. This is too much. And, and um, let's clarify. She's juggling here. What is happening here? She's, she's got the moon. What's hidden for her. What's hidden for the divine feminine right now? Because the moon is crossing her too. What's hidden for divine feminine. How this is going to work. She doesn't know how this is going to work. Nothing's working. This person could have ghosted her all of, you know, so she's not sure how this is going to work. So she's ending it. She's like, mm, okay, bye. <laughs> See you later. Uh, you're not sharing anything with me. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, how is this going to work here? I don't know how this is going to work. So I don't know how to collaborate on how to work with you. This is also a third party situation. I'm putting an end to it. I'm not being a part of that. Okay. And that is um, the moon. And she may not have said anything about it. Okay. She must just silently have done that. She's keeping that part hidden that she is not. She may not have said anything to the masculine saying it's totally over. I don't want anything to do with you. She may just keep that to herself and be like, you know what? I haven't heard from this person in forever. So I'm out, <laughs> you know, like see you later. And so I feel like that's, um, what's happening here. She's also juggling this whole union here. So let's clarify the four of wands. Yeah. She feels trapped. Some of some feminines are definitely juggling, trying to feel and feeling trapped by this union. So any advice there for divine feminines about feeling trapped spirit is saying, you know, let the wheel turn, let it go, rest in it, pull your energy back. The universe will take care of it. Okay. Guys, I'm telling you when karma hits and you're on the receiving end and justice is served, it's so good. I like sit here and I can feel the energies and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, cause I did my work <laughs> and it feels so good. <laughs> so just rest divine feminines because there's still, everything is so hidden. There's a lot of shadiness that's going on here. And we also had here the high priestess hidden information. Okay. So let's clarify that this, this, this pain here, this nine of swords, I feel it's divine masculine energy with the high priestess. Yeah. Sitting in apathy. See, I ain't moving, but knowing that they got to end something. Okay. So they know that they have to end cycles and start a new cycle here. And they're hiding that and they're not doing anything about it. They're just sitting in their, in their, in their apathy. Right. Yeah, they're sitting at a crossroads here. Divine Masculine. Yeah, that's really what's happening in December. So I'll give you some healing messages. I'm going to take this to Extended Leo. Um, I feel that's a pretty clear-cut reading there. Um, yeah, if you want to get in on the Extended, it is cancel at any time. If you do sign up, it is a membership, monthly membership. You get other coaching tips, all my other extensions on YouTube. You also get a downloadable monthly um, uh, meditation and a whole bunch of other stuff, discounts on readings and things like that. So take a look down below. Again, if you want to work with me, all that information is down there. If you resonate with me. All right. And my work, take a look at RenaWells.com, okay? All my information is there. You can read about my story a little bit more, find out more about me. I'm completely healed, guys, with my energies, okay? Um, I'm just heavy integrating now. So I've done everything on my own that I possibly could. My next lesson is with my twin. That's basically where I'm, I'm completely healed in, in that aspect. 
I've healed drug addictions. I've healed, I'm healing um, my, my cellular level now. Okay, what's the healing message here for Leo? Please send it in Rising and Venus for December 1st to the 15th, please. Thank you. Oh my God, divine connection. I got this for, who was it? Was it either Capricorn or Cancer? Okay, so this is a divine connection. Okay, it's eight, it's abundant, it's beautiful. So there's work to do here. And um, these divine feminines are knowing how to end things and move forward. And these divine masculines are in a lot of pain, but I feel like they're going to come out of it eventually. Okay. But they're in a place of apathy right now, hiding a lot of things. They're going to have to face their dark. That's just how it is. So divine and feminines keep going. This is a divine connection. Spirit is confirming that for you. So just know that, um, what you're doing is, is, and what you're getting pulled to do is correct. Okay, so just keep moving on your path. All right, guys, I'm going to go do the extended. If you're interested in that, sign up for the monthly membership. Cancel anytime. And if you want to sign up for coaching or anything else, all that info is down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Bye. Oh.